गुड मॉर्निंग सर यस गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन सर थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग वट अबाउट यू yeah i am fantastic thank you for asking me too so as we are meeting for the first time i'm so happy to meet you and uh, i would like to you to introduce yourself so can you introduce yourself please yeah yeah definitely sir uh, this is prem singh rawat from uttarakhand my district is podi gadwal nani danda block dumakot village devaldar and uh, mm -hmm. regarding my profession i'm a english teacher in intermediate college and regarding my oh, qualification great yes sir regarding my qualification i am bed and post graduate in english and uh, i have 10 years teaching experience and uh, regarding my english journey sir i am uh, learning english uh, through youtube uh, channels and other medium last one year and the reason is behind that sir i belong to hindi medium student and uh, mm -hmm. uh is uh, definitely i am post graduate in english but at that time i studied english as a subject not as a language sir that's why i am learning uh, speaking through this platform sir by the help of you because you are good uh, and famous youtuber and i am benefited by your video sir and it is my uh, it is golden opportunity for me and it is my pleasure and it uh, and today i feel my desire to connect with you sir <laughs> <laughs> pleasure mine thank you so much for a lot of compliments and yes. i'm so happy that you are getting benefits from my videos so now now it's my turn i'm going to introduce myself so as you know my name is ashutosh tivedi and i'm speaking to you from kanpur city of uttar pradesh and when it comes to my okay. education i have pursued my bachelor's degree that is bcom honors accounting from banaras hindu university and now i am pursuing my master's degree that is masters of arts in english literature and apart from this you know that i am running a youtube channel which is based on spoken english conversations and my youtube channel name is ashu official 2021 so as you said i'm totally agree with you that uh, pursuing masters in english or bachelors in english is not going to make you confident in speaking english because speaking yes. english or spoken english depends on your environment when you talk with others then only you can speak better english that's what i know so whatever yes. you said that is exactly right so i'm very curious to know about uh, you that as you already told me that you were a teacher and you are teaching you have experience of 10 years so but why would you like to learn spoken spoken english as you already established in your career yeah 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 actually sir you know all, already i told you that i belong to hindi medium uh, background and uh, mm -hmm. i have no english atmosphere and uh, definitely i am post graduate in english but at that time i i didn't uh, study uh, english as a language at that time i studied english only as a subject for getting good marks so mm -hmm. at present uh, yes you know english uh, is speaking uh, importance is very must and as a teacher as a uh, post graduate person it is my duty to create uh, english atmosphere for my kids and especially my students uh, that's why i am learning english uh, through this platform sir and you know uh regarding my english journey i'm uh, learning english last one year so in starting point uh, is starting stage i was uh, full of uh, you can say hesitation and lack of confidence and but little bit uh, i am improving my english uh, by watching your videos and jos monsas videos and other person because you have told uh, lots of people okay and my students also watch your video sir and they are uh, they oh, are learning <laughs> yeah english uh, from you and uh, my students also benefited me because it is my duty sir to create english atmosphere for my students and you know i have grammatical knowledge but my weaking side is is uh, uh, sorry speaking side is uh, weak sir that's why i'm learning english yeah i can understand whatever you said that is exactly right if you don't grammar well it doesn't mean that you are going to speak english well because when if you are going to write something you will get time to think about it 
but when yeah. you speak instantly you will have to speak you don't get a lot of time to think about anything like if i'm asking anything from you that you will have to answer as a, a like you know within few seconds you will not get a lot of time to think about grammar or to think about like what you are going to speak so in the spoken english what you need practice the more you will do practice the more comfortable you will become while you're speaking right so now another question i would like to know that as you like as you said like you have been learning so which kind of challenges uh, like you know are you facing nowadays or have you faced in your past when you started your journey what were the problems which you were facing a lot yeah sir uh, regarding the problems in the starting stage already told you that uh, i face uh, uh, confidence i, I mean uh, in the first stage i was not full of confidence okay and uh, full of hesitation so and uh, you know uh, when he started teaching in the classes uh, and uh, some students uh, asked me questions but i tried to best and i speak uh, with uh, my students and you know i belong to district pody gadwal it is hilly area no english atmosphere but i am doing practice more and more and uh, Uh, you know uh, uh, suppose i am uh, right now i am talking with you but uh, you know in this village area some persons are watching me <laughs> and they they i think they are uh, thinking about me this is intelligent person this is uh, 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 gentleman and he is speaking english because they don't know importance of english yeah mm -hmm. they uh, they comment me uh, in negative way <laughs> yeah they will say like why you are trying to learn a spoken english at this age yeah i can yeah. understand that it depends uh, like you know people they are not able to understand and they don't give value to it so what is yeah. your own native language that is gadwali uh, sir yes uh, i belong to uttarakhand so you know i belong to uh, district pori gadwal so uh, gadwali is dialect sir and our mm -hmm. native language is uh, hindi and the two languages are spoken uh, uh, in my state official languages first one is hindi and second one is uh, sanskrit but my dialect is uh, gadwali sir are you uh, okay, sir are dialect. you are you familiar uh, about uh, uttarakhand and uh, gadwali language uh, dialect uh, uh, culture sir please yes i know a little because a few year uh, like a few years not few months ago i had visited haridwar Rishi case and uh, just uh, Dev Priya, so I came to know about a lot of things and uh, yeah, there was Garhwal bus stand as well, so that's why I'm familiar with uh, this world. So okay. I had visited only two or three months ago, so that's why it is familiar and known. I was able to see a lot of uh, Gurukul uh, kind of schools where the students were studying about Vedas and Sanskrit and yoga. I think so. Yes. I was able to see that, and that was quite fascinating. And it's so good that they are learning things. As you said, that Sanskrit is also the well spoken language in your state. That's wonderful because nowadays, uh, most of the states they are focusing on their like you know languages like English because in the environment of the office you need to speak English. Nobody is going to speak to you in Sanskrit, right? so it's very good to hear that now till now the people they are speaking sanskrit so uh, they do talk in uh, sanskrit as well do they talk in sanskrit in uh, uttarakhand as you say no sir uh, actually i i don't know uh, actually i know little bit sanskrit because uh, we do not use in daily routine sir uh, only priest only religious holy persons uh, use sanskrit so I, I yeah, so, but most of the people they talk in Hindi and Hindi dialect yeah. Garhwali, or it depends on their Gadwali district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garhwali Pohan. Uh, and sir, my question uh, is that for you: uh, Have you studied your schooling in uh, Hindi medium school, Hindi medium, or uh, English medium, sir? i was a student of jawahar navodaya vidyalaya so it was not properly english medium school like if you will compare with nowadays dps delhi public school and good schools are saint javier and good schools are there where they will teach you in english totally and you will get properly english environment but there was no environment of english so i considered that hindi medium because navodaya vidyalaya are just established in villages 
or just they want the students who would like to come from the villages so i am from kanpur dehat so most of the students were coming from villages so it was difficult for them to understand english so it was hindi background or a hindi environment so i was not able to speak english till my 12th standard but when i became the student of my graduation degree then i thought of working on myself or on my communication skills as you already said that it doesn't matter that if you are pursuing your bachelor's in english or masters in english because then we are studying english as a subject we are yes. only writing exams and we would like to get marks that's it we don't want to think about speaking in english and how to handle people so same for me it was same so i was from the hindi background you can say okay so sir uh, uh, please uh, brief me i know brief detail about your english journey when, uh, when you started because you belong to jawar noda so uh, tell me sir brief detail about your english journey <laughs> yeah when it comes to my spoken english journey i started practicing uh, from 29th april 2020 uh, when i was a student of bachelor's degree i came back uh, to my hometown due to covid 19 right mm-hmm. so when okay. i had a lot of laser time and classes were not like you know properly mm-hmm. continue right so it was difficult for me to uh... hello hello yeah 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 there was a connection glitch i think so what i was saying yes uh, so that's why when i came back i was free and yeah it was really pathetic time most of the people they were talking about covid 19 i was not mm-hmm. interested in listening that so i started practicing english i got few applications like buddy talk hello application ace fluency clubhouse mm-hmm. and i started talking to strangers so i i was so crazy and i used to speak for 5 hours 6 hours so it was wonderful time because i had nothing to do i was not interested in doing studies in those days so when i started practicing that's how i started becoming better and then i started my own youtube channel also so this is all about the journey most of the time i used to talk with the people because what i believe is speaking comes from speaking as you said you are already good in grammar you know how yeah. to write you are already the literature student but you will have to believe that speaking comes from speaking so that's how i started my journey in 2020 and it's been 3 years i i am just consistently talking with the people and continuing my journey okay that's great sir sir my other question is that you are pursuing post graduation with commerce mm-hmm. okay so what is your no, not in commerce i am pursuing my post graduation in english sorry in english literature okay so mm-hmm. what is your future plan sir uh, in case of good uh, uh, fluent speaker sir in english uh, basically as i told you i was a student of commerce you said it right mm-hmm. and i wanted to see myself as a chartered accountant okay but when i became interested in spoken english now i would like to continue with this spoken english things so okay. i'm pursuing the masters of arts in english uh, literature but that i am pursuing for the degree only because it was my desire to have a degree in english okay but literature doesn't mean that you are going to be good in spoken english it's totally different so what yes. i would like to go forward with i do train people i am conducting sessions for the students i am helping them to speak better english and in future i would like to see myself as a good youtuber along with that i would love to see myself as a podcast host where i can invite people and i can take their interviews like that so this yeah. kind of things are there in my mind and uh, and offline i can start my own institute as well where i can uh, train students to speak better english for personality development and for spoken english for communication skills that's what i'm thinking nowadays yeah sir i i liked your melodious uh, sound sir you are uh, uh, speaking way and uh, noble polite i like it very much sir and you know you belong to kanpur and uh, so how did you manage sir uh, i mean uh, have you uh, joined there any coaching center and uh, because uh, kanpur uh, yeah tell me about yeah it is a hindi speaking city nobody likes to talk in english you are absolutely right so yes. how did i manage i i told you like i started my journey in covid 19 right so there was no chance to join any coaching offline because people they were afraid of covid so how yes. i learned to spoken english without joining any institution i just started working on myself i used to watch videos on youtube i have created an artificial environment means 
I used to watch everything in English. I used to listen everything in English. I used to talk in English. Nobody yeah. was there like who was talking to me in English in my uh, village. Nobody was there. But I used to interact with the people over calls. Okay. So till now, there is no environment in my city. The people, they don't like talking in English. So, but I mm. do interact with the people like you, people from all around the country, from the South India, from North India, like Western India and Northeast, from everywhere. So that's how I have uh, developed my spoken English. I haven't joined any uh, institute uh, to improve because I know if I will join any spoken English institute, they are not going to teach me spoken English. They will teach me grammar. They will teach me something which is not really important for spoken English. In a spoken English, what is important? Grammar is important, but it is very important for you. You will have to do practice with the people. So, but in coaching institutes, it's very difficult. They will teach you grammar. They will give you a story. They will teach you English by translation method. And, but I don't yeah. like that. I would like mm -hmm. to learn this language naturally by listening and by watching and by talking to the people. So I haven't yeah. joined any institute till now. Okay. I had joined institute for training people because I wanted to train people on offline basis, but I haven't liked that environment in offline because like environment was not so good. Training people online, like I'm talking to you, that you are so sincere and you know the value of a spoken English. That's why you are putting your efforts. But the yes. students who are in their early age, they don't understand the value of it. As you said, if we'll talk about in your district, people, they will not understand the value that why you are trying a lot and why you are trying to speak better English. It's fine right. if you are a teacher, right? So that's why I felt the same in my city. So I, I'm continuing my online journey nowadays. Yeah. Sir, my last question is that uh, you are a good speaker and hard worker. So, and uh, as a teacher, sir, please give me some tricks and tips how I can, uh, how my students uh, can improve their English and what can I do for my uh, students, sir, from your side? Yeah. Any so so the, of course, like when it comes to the students as you are a teacher, so yeah. if you are a good teacher and so students are going to follow you, that is very yeah. like what I had seen in a school. If you are a nice and gentle person and if you're a good personality, of course, students would like to follow that what my teacher does, how he is behaving, because we learn a lot of things from our teachers and that's very yeah. important, right? So the, what you will have to do first, you will have to learn this language and you will have yeah. to create an environment for them and say okay. to them that it doesn't matter how many mist mistakes they are committing, but say to them, speak in English and don't judge them. Don't mm -hmm. judge them. Like, you know, they should feel comfortable talking to you without caring yeah. about their mistakes. Okay. So that's very important thing for your students. And the second thing, what I say, like how I, I already said that I, don't believe a lot in uh, theory and uh, reading and exercise in grammar. I believe in practical method that how yeah. you learned Hindi by listening yeah. to your parents, by listening to your neighbors, by talking to your friends. In the same way, if you will find some online people with whom you can interact in English, you'll be able to learn this language as well. So what you'll have to do, you will have to like, you know, consume the content in English as much as you can. Don't watch videos in Hindi. Don't uh, like, you know, whatever you watch, try to watch that in English. So I say to the people that listen, watch and talk in English as much as you can. That will help you to become better. Any institute is not going to make you fluent. That's that's for sure. Until or unless you're not going to do practice in few institute, they are training people in a good way that they are giving you a good environment where you can interact with your classmates or like, you know, your like the students. So in that way, you can learn. But until or unless you are not going to speak, you're not going to become a speaker. So say to your students, start speaking from today onwards. And okay. don't and don't judge them on behalf of their grammatical mistakes. Once they are a little bit fluent, once they are able to express themselves, then literally uh, just you, you can focus on their mistakes that try to focus on it. Because there is an automatic method. When, when you will become fluent, you will automatically get a reminder in your mind that you are getting uh, just you are committing a mistake. So this is a journey. It takes time. You'll have to be patient enough. Nobody is going to be fluent in a good speaker in 15 days because a lot of institute will tell you that you are going to be fluent in 30 days. But I don't believe in that method. It's not right. It takes time man. it is a language. 
and yes. nobody can be perfect right even though we are the native speakers of hindi then also sometimes we commit a lot of mistakes in hindi as well so we yes. are not perfect same in english the more we will speak the more comfortable we will become that's how the we can learn english that's only the like you know thing which i follow that's why i was a student of commerce but now i am pursuing my career in english so i can be connected to this language i know if i am going to like you know choose something else if i'll become an accountant there i will not get any just you know environment of speaking english i will work on computer that's it so after 6 months again i will not be able to speak that much good english because this is only the consistency which will make you better if you are not yes. consistent again you will start feeling lack of confidence yeah yeah okay so thank you very much sir